الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله as we know to heed the call to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship him and him and him alone is the call of the mu'min this is what Islam is about about tawheedillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنُ وَالْإِنْتِ لِلَّهِ يَعْبُدُونَ I've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me listen to this beautiful hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam and some of the fawa'id which shows us the importance of Tawheed and the opposite of it, the dangers of shirk, of kufr, of disbelief, of associating a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Jabir radiallahu ta'ala an, Ja'a Arabi ila Nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Faqal ya Rasulullah, ma mujibatan, فَقَالَ مَنْ مَاتَ لَا يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ شَيْءٍ دَخْلَ الْجَنَّةِ وَمَنْ مَاتَ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ شَيْءٍ دَخْلَ النَّارِ رواه مسلم The hadith of Jabir رضي الله تعالى عنه is that a, a Bedouin he came to the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم a Bedouin meaning an Arab that was more than like from the village more than likely uneducated more than likely uh, living bare, a bare existence, herding, and with camels, or what have you. One came to the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he said, O Messenger of Allah, ma mojibatan, what is the two obligatory things? The Prophet Sallallahu said, whoever dies and does not associate a partner with Allah, does not associate any partner with Allah, enters paradise. And whoever dies and associates a partner with Allah will enter the hellfire. And this is collected in Sahih Muslim. The Moji Batan, which is mentioned in this hadith, is a characteristic describing the obligation to enter paradise for the one who adheres to Tawheed, Islamic monotheism, worshipping Allah, Allah alone. And that it is an obligation or that the person, which is the opposite, the person who commits Paganism associates partners with Allah, worships Jesus with Allah, worships Muhammad وسلم, with Allah, worships Dawood with Allah, worships Ibrahim with Allah, worships uh, the president, the king, the emir, whoever, the statue, the pig, the snake, the elephant, the cow, whoever associates a partner with Allah or worships other than Allah will enter the hellfire. So what we learn from this hadith is that the origin of Tawheed or monotheism is, a prohibi is the prohibition or what's contained in it is the prohibition for the servant to enter the hellfire. Meaning that if you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, without any partners, then be in the law, as a, uh, the Prophet sallallahu said in another hadith, that the right of the servant upon Allah is that he does not punish the one in the hellfire who does not commit shirk with Allah. So it shows us the importance of Tawheed, of worshipping Allah alone, and the importance of staying away from shirk, Another benefit from this hadith, a habit of Allah, is that we should know, and it should be something ma'loom min adin bi durura to avoid shirk, to avoid kufr, and that the asal of the call in Islam is to tawheed, is worshiping Allah subhanahu wa taala alone, unlike those du'at 
those people who are dies in the West who say Tawheed is not mentioned in the Quran, or who say Tawheed is not so important, or say Tawheed, we begin with this call or this call, we begin with the call of Takfir, we begin with the call to the Jama'ah, we begin with the call to this Hizb, we begin to call with this Bayah, we begin the call with, with making Khuruj to call the people back to Salat. Nah. The awesome and the call is to the worship of Allah alone. Remember that whenever any in activity you engage in in Islam, keep that in mind, that it's about worshiping Allah alone. If you're going to speak about Ahl Bid'ah, that should be in defense of Tawheed, in defense of the Sunnah. If you're going to refute someone, it should be for that purpose. If you're going to involve yourself in any activity, if you think you're going to fall into backbiting, hold your tongue. If it's not to exalt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if it's not to defend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen. So that's a lesson for us, the call to Tawheed. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم